In this video, I want to take a brief look at how the Internet analyzes content. And we also want to be aware of the fact that there are two content analyzers and rankers. We have people and we have search engines. And both of those will be visiting your content both on your website and your off-site associated content. And they're both going to analyze and rank your content both on your site and off your site. And they're going to rank it. The search engines are going to rank it in keyword searches such as Google and human visitors are going to rank your site and content based on quality against other sites and content. And ultimately what you want to do is understand the relationship of how these two work together, both how they work individually and how they work together so that you can create optimized content including search engine optimization to create an environment with your content and to create the value with your content both for human visitors and for the search engines that you're going to be ranked very high both in the search engine keyword searches but also in the thinking of your users relating to the quality and value of your content and your website across the internet. So with that in mind let's first take a look at how human traffic views our content. Human traffic is going to come in and look at your general content, your pages, text, images, video, links, etc. Free downloads, applications, entertainment, whatever it is you're dealing with on your website, they're going to look at it, evaluate it, and they're going to rank it in their thinking against other entertainment and websites and information that's been presented to them. You want to get a very high rank within the minds of the people that visit your website or your content because that's going to give them the justification and the value that they need to go out and share your content in your website, in their blogs, in forums, in directories, and in other venues across the internet, ultimately, which is going to create more links back to your content and your website. It's also going to create links that Google and the search engines are going to use to evaluate the quality of your content. You see, what Google's doing as a search engine is it's looking at your website and then it's looking at the associated off-site content and giving your site and your content a value based on what's going on on the internet, which is very effective. If you look at how Google has ranked advanced artist.com in its search engines, obviously it's ranked as one of the best sites in the world. Well, if you go across the internet and look at what people are saying about our content, they're saying also that the Corel Draw training on our website is some of the best in the world. Now, we want to take a look at advancedarts.com and take a look at how it is that the search engines look at our website and our content. Here we've got our basic graphic template, very clean. And then we've got our content set up here for our users, which you've just got videos on this page with some text and links to view the videos. But you'll notice that we put some text descriptions in here for these videos. Google can't look at our videos. They can have some idea of what our images are about if we put an image alt tag with it, but they really can't look at our videos. So we wrote these descriptions for our videos so that Google would know what our video content is about. Now, what Google looks at is your HTML page content, as you can see here. Your users, human traffic, look at your template and other graphics, but Google looks at your HTML pages. Let's go back to advancedartist.com here. We'll go to page, go to view source, and that'll bring up our HTML. And what Google looks at is our meta information, the text on the page. They'll look at the title, advancedartist.com, Corel Draw Tutorials. Obviously, if we come back down here through the page and look at some of our text descriptions, Google will see this text, amazing Corel Draw Tutorial. So what Google's going to say is this site is about Corel Draw, obviously. Then it's going to go and index this site into its database as being a site about CorelDRAW, about tutorials, about t-shirts and different keywords that we have throughout our website. Then Google is going to go out to the internet and look at content that's been created through links, typically through human visitors who've taken our content and said this is a great site and linked to it and done different things with our content. And it's going to say, well, based on all this links and information we see going on out here, we know that the internet as a whole and users as a whole are, are having a very good response to this content, obviously this is a very valuable site and they rank it very high. Now, the quality of your links is really something that you would prefer other users creating. There are other strategies to create links and content across your website and we do it in forums through YouTube and other things, 
but you really want to create content that's going to give users the need they have to mentally rank your content very high so that you've got top of mind awareness as having some of the best content on the internet and then your users will go out and create posts and link to you through their website, blogs, etc. which the search engines are going to pick up and say, well, this content's very popular and they're going to rank you higher. Now, looking at links, what you have to realize is that you've got to have quality links. You can't just go out and start spamming links across the whole internet because Google will pick that up. Google's very smart relating to their software, I guess you say their algorithm picks up. If they think you're out there trying to spam links, they're actually going to roll your rank down instead of up. And we've got a link here actually on the Corel website under online, re on, online learning resources. And we've got advancedartist.com. You can see the direct link right there. So Google looks at this link on the actual Corel site and says, obviously these guys are actually linked directly from Corel. We've got the words training, tutorials, etc. for graphics suite users everywhere. When Google looks at a quality link like this, they say, obviously, this is one of the best sites in the market, and they rank accordingly. So you want to be careful in creating your links. And if you go in and do a search in Google for www.advancedartist.com and just click your way through all the different pages, you'll start to see that there's many different links set up by different companies. For example, here's screenerschoice.com, and they've got some links going back to our website and they've carried our content actually in their site. And we'll take a look at this here. Go to the home page. You can see that Screen is Choice has actually embedded a lot of our content and links directly to our site back on their website. And Google's going to look at this site and see that it's about screen printing and color separations and things like that. And just balance that inbound link off of this site against what's going on in this site and then it'll use it to rank our site higher. So we want to be very aware of the benefits that are available to us if we've got our content ranked correctly, both in the minds of our human visitors and in the search engines, because it's almost like a cycle. You know, folks will come out off the internet onto our site, be exposed to our content, go back out, share it. The search engines are constantly going through our site, then back out into the internet, and the whole thing becomes cyclical. Now, one of the things we want to be aware of relating to off-site content is it can be very valuable because it carries links to your site. It also very frequently comes with recommendations to your site content and products. This content is not created by you, and it can very often be content from your site directly embedded into other sites, or content that is created by other users. As we saw here in the Screener's Choice, they actually took some of our images and just embedded the content directly into their website. So now we can see how important it is that we understand how internet users analyze our content and rank it and how all of this works together in a cyclical fashion to build our content, to expand and increase our content across the internet as a whole based on how we set up the quality of our content to be analyzed and ranked by those who will be viewing our content and our websites and that being human visitors and the search engines. And we'll go ahead and wrap here in this session and we'll continue in our next video session.